So let's, when I say if we're feeling capping emotions, what is a capping emotion? Anger. Anger is one? Fear. Fear, jealousy, envy, resentment. <coughs> right? A lot of those are capping emotions. Do you understand what I mean by capping emotions? They're suppressing the causal emotion. So why do we get into a capping emotion? Because it feels powerful in that emotion. And why do we do that? Because we don't want to feel powerless about the causal emotion. Right? So if you find you're getting into anger all the time, or you're getting into resentment all the time, then you're in denial. You're allowed to be in denial. You're allowed to get as angry as you want. You're allowed to be irate with every single person around you. But of course, there is a result, a consequence to those actions on your own soul as well. So are the causal emotions the ones that make you feel helpless and... Um... Not necessarily, but the causal emotion, if I'm feeling anger, then if it's not childhood anger, then it's probably not a causal emotion. I'm saying, I'm saying get into the anger. I'm saying don't turn it off. Get into it. Get out the pots and bag and the gloves or whatever and really get into it. But understand that while you're getting into it and not going deeper, you're still in denial. You're choosing denial. You follow me? You're choosing it. Angers, all these other, all these capping emotions are choices to not get into the underlying emotion. But how do you tell the difference between a capping emotion or, or an effect emotion and a causal emotion? Um, most capping emotions are very adult-like in their manifestation. Causal emotions are all childlike in their manifestation. Does that, does everyone see the difference? Yeah. Yeah. Like a causal emotion is going to be a locked-up emotion throughout our life experience, usually relating to our childhood. So therefore, it's going to be childlike in its manifestation. It's going to be childlike in its experience. If we're in an adult rage or an adult anger or an adult resentment or adult jealousy or any of those things, then we're denying a childhood emotion. Right? Experience the jealousy, or experience the rage, experience the anger, but understand I've got to find something deeper than this in the end. Right? Where do affect emotions fit into that? Does capping... Or... Capping emotions are all effects oh, in I the end. Effect. Yeah, they're all effect emotions. How... I am angry all the time. Beauty. <laughs> <laughs> so am I lately. <laughs> and, um, I, I am accused mm -hmm. of being very childish in the expression in that I, I never did this as a child though, but I slam doors and I swear a lot. I've started swearing in the last year or two yeah. and I've really loved it but now I don't want to do it anymore yeah. so much anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can, you, can you explain a bit more about expressing in a childlike way? Do you mean like an uncontrolled, passionate way or do you mean, I don't understand it. Obviously yeah, um, put yourself in a safe environment and express it in a, as, as you, just, a, just be a child in its expression, but do it in an environment where you're not harming others. That's all you need to do. Okay, so we don't really need to even understand what's a childlike way or not, just... Just put yourself so in... So really just let it come in a way that's not damaging. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, just let it come. When you let it come fully and go into it fully, yeah. what is underneath will soon become known to you. Yeah, yeah. I know what if, it is. If you don't, if you, and if you already know what it is, the anger is there because you're denying the expression of the underlying emotion. Okay. So what's the cause of your anger? It's grief. Okay, so you don't want to cry. So understand <laughs> that you don't want to cry, and you're allowed to not want to cry, but every time you do that, you're, not, you're going to get angry. Sorry. Yeah? So you need to just allow yourself to cry. If you cried all the time about the causal emotion, you wouldn't be getting as angry. Oh, I don't know if I'm crying about the causal emotion. <laughs> You're crying about a lot of the effects that have been created. Yeah. But the causal is related to your childhood, remember? Yeah. So it's going to be a childhood emotion that you're going to be feeling. And to let yourself go there. Okay. And you know what it's about in your childhood. Do you mean my mother dying? And a few other events too. But isn't that big enough? Yeah, it's pretty big. Yeah. 
I don't know what the other events are. But let yourself even just feel the one you know. I have, yeah. I feel like I've done that my entire life. Um, if you're re-experiencing the emotion, then you're not getting at the cause. So if you're re-experiencing over and over and over again, you're not getting the cause. The cause is, that when that's happening, there's a truth you're not facing. Okay. We'll talk about some of our other denials down, down a bit, and one of them will be a denial of, our truth, of truth. So the truth is, uh, you know, there's an emotion underneath that emotion of your mum dying. So you've cried about your mum dying, but, but what did your mum dying mean to you? I was alone. Okay. Have you cried about that emotion? See, a lot of times what we're doing is we're crying because we want our mum back to not be alone. So we're crying to not be alone, when in, what we need to do is actually feel alone and cry. Yeah, I get right. it. So can you see how there's layers yeah. Yeah. getting down? Yeah. Thank you. It's my pleasure. In, in my case, if I'm around anyone who's angry, whatever happens to me, I still haven't seen the underlying cause. It's right. like... And you don't I want to. I get scared, and so I, that's where. So then I avoid being around them. Yeah, don't do and that because if you avoid and then being, I blame them. You know, yeah. I mean, it's a cycle. The cycle I see yeah. the cycle. Yeah. I see underneath. I'm really scared and helpless. So go there, because that's where you're avoiding going. And then I wish it could be different. And, and go it's there never too. Going to be different. Go there too. There's three emotions you just mentioned that you need to feel. <laughs> I can keep doing that. It's never going to be different, right? A lot of those emotions are all childhood emotions. You need to express some rage in that. There's some rage in there about that. Some anger in there about these feelings that you're never going to get what you want in your life. So let yourself feel that. The rage isn't there. It's more the helplessness. No, I'm saying it is there. Okay. Not, it wasn't a question. Okay. <laughs> and the rage is there okay. inside of you. If you really let yourself connect to it, really get upset about how you know you feel like everything's so, like you're not getting what you want. Really get upset about it. You'll connect with the deeper emotions quite rapidly, and let yourself experience them.